So let me show you how we use Jira to manage content production. In this case, you see that uh, we use Jira to create internal content, external content, any kind of written content most of the time. So it's not videos, it's written content or short or long form. So we have the following state, content idea. When there is an idea, ticket is created. It doesn't mean anything, just an idea, so we don't forget about it. Then theoretically, if idea seems reasonable and it's time to work on it, we will move ticket to the next stage, which is called needs outline and basically subnail and hook. So the idea here to produce piece of content, how it look like, what we may be talking about, how to hook people as well to read further. Afterwards, when someone proposes, we review the idea to see if it makes sense, if the talking points are good, if it's beneficial for people, for the audience, for the place we publish it, and so on. Afterwards, when it's done, review is done, we explore the keywords to ensure that we know which particular keywords, particular piece of content may target, because it's, in, it's written content, we do believe each piece should have at least some small search engine benefits. Not all of them, but many of them. So because of this, we have this stage. Whenever keywords are added, we jump into developing the content, which basically means writing the content. <laughs> Most of the time, maybe describing illustrations, writing the content, thinking about the changing, thinking about links, story, and so on and so forth, calls to actions and so on. Whenever this is done, images are done, and this next stage design needed, we jump into review stage. In, in, in the review stage, usually a couple of people review a particular story, they provide feedback, improvements, and so on and so forth. So we do it usually a couple of times. We do idea review when there is like it's not shaped fully, and then we do content review when it's more or less shaped and ready to publish. When it's uh, ready to publish, in this project it's called approved. We move the ticket there. And uh, when time comes, the ticket is published and so on. And then we decide either we repurpose it or not. But most of the time we, we try to repurpose our content as well. However, some pieces are rejected, so we just move them to rejected state and that's it. So this is the way of our team manage pretty simple Kanban board. As you see, there is no big things involved, but it could be very easily used by multiple people on the team. And it brings transparency and you can see bottlenecks and progress as well.